<sighs> factoring greatest common factor and foil. Trinomials today are going to be in the form of AX squared plus BX plus C. Is there a greatest common factor? So you're going to look for that. So the hint for greatest common factor is look at the smallest coefficient for possible GCFs. If the leading coefficient, the A value, whatever touches the X squared is negative, you're going to have to factor out a negative as part of your GCF. After you take out the GCF, now you look, is the trinomial now in x squared plus bx plus c form. Did that leading coefficient disappear? Now it's just a 1. If it is, now we can unfoil it, meaning factors of c that have a sum of b. Let's practice. Thank you. 2x squared plus 50x plus 48. So this obviously is in AX squared plus BX plus C form, right? There's a coefficient that is not one. So my hint to you is look at the smallest coefficient for possible GCF, so two, correct? Meaning, let's see, is everything divisible by two? Yes. So factor out a two. The greatest common factor is a two. How come I can't say two X? This constant doesn't have an x value, so I'm only factoring out a 2. So 2x squared divided by 2 is x squared. 50x divided by 2 is 25x. 48 divided by 2 is 24. After I factored out the greatest common factor, is this unfoilable? Yes. Factors of 24 that have a sum of 25? No, 24 and 1. 24 and 1. X plus 24. X plus 1. Don't forget that greatest common factor up front. No, because it's not simplified. Okay, next one. Negative 4x squared minus 8x plus 252. Negative 4x squared minus 8x plus 252. Look to the smallest coefficient to find the greatest common factor. What's the smallest coefficient? Negative 4. 4, right? Negative 4. Is everything divisible by 4? Yes. Is 8 divisible by 4? Yes. Is 252 divisible by 4? Yes. Double check just to make sure. Don't just assume that it is. Maybe this is unfactorable. Is 252 divisible by 4? Yes. Okay. So my greatest common factor is 4. But on top of that, since my leading coefficient is negative, I have to divide by negative 4. Negative 4x squared divided by negative 4 is x squared. Negative 8x divided by negative 4 is positive 2x. 252 divided by negative 4 is 60 what? 3. So we're looking for factors of negative 63 
that have a sum of two. Factors of negative 63 that have a sum of two. Sam, take out your earbud, please. Oh, yeah. What combination? Can you do 3 and 21 to get 2? No. no. But can you do 7 and 9 to get 2? Yes. 9 minus 7, correct? So we have a positive 9 and a negative 7 with that negative 4 in front. Remember... If you have a negative product, one of your factors is negative, one of them is positive. Okay, let's try a little more challenging. squared plus 51 xy plus 210 y squared. What's the smallest coefficient? Three. Check. Is everything divisible by three? Check it. Is everything divisible by three? Yes. All right. So I'm going to take out a three. Do they all share anything else? No. No. So x squared plus 17xy plus 70y squared. Now here's what you need to know. Are you ready? Since the C value has Y squared or any variable squared, right? The factors are blank Y and blank Y. So we can still do this as long as your C value has a variable squared next to it. If it's just 70 Y, no go. But since it's 70 Y squared and your B value is a combination of both variables, Since the C value has Y squared or whatever variable squared, the factors are going to be blank Y and blank Y. And my B value is a combo of both variables. I can factor this. What factors of 70 have a sum of 17? 7 and 10. 7 and 10, correct? So watch my answer x plus 7y and x plus 10y. And I've got a greatest common factor of 3. And here's why. If I foiled this, what's x times x? x squared. X squared. What's 7y times x, or 7xy, and what's x times 10y? 10yx or 10xy, right? I've got 7xy and 10xy, which make 
17xy. And I have 7y times 10y, which makes 70y squared. Um, okay, let me do some quick calculations. All right, try this one. Okay, you look to your smallest coefficient. My smallest coefficient is 10 or negative 10. But everything isn't divisible by negative 10, correct? Okay, so 10 doesn't work. But what else can 10 be divided by? 5. Can everything be divided by 5? Yes. So my greatest common factor is 5. What is it? Why negative 5? The leading coefficient is negative, so it has to factor out. So I'm going to factor out negative 5. What do you get? Negative 10x squared divided by negative 5 gives you 2x squared. Negative 50x divided by negative 5 is positive 10x. Positive 15 divided by negative 5 is negative 3. Is this now factorable, unfoilable? Yes. No, why not? We're done for now. We'll learn how to do this later, but for now we're done. You'd still do the same thing. It'd be one of these, probably. This pen's dead. All right, let's do one more. Uh, okay, I already did that one. 3x squared minus 75. 3x squared minus 75. Leading coefficient is, or smallest coefficient is 3. Is 75 divisible by 3? So factor it out. 3 parentheses x squared what? Minus 25. Parentheses. Don't stop here and say you're done, and say, well, Mrs. Long, that's not a trinomial. Remember, you have to test it. Three parentheses x squared plus zero x minus 25. Factors of negative 25 that have a sum of zero. Negative five and positive five. 